What's up everyone, Jace Two Cents. Remember my last video I talked about doing something custom with the Founders Cooler? And we're gonna do that today. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna tear a card apart and see what we can do with it. But first, I'm a little bit thirsty, so I'm gonna- Buddy, take a sip take of this. Drink. Oh yeah, look at that. Ah, tastes like cleanliness. Cooler Master's new Master Keys MK750 mechanical gaming keyboard features a minimalistic distraction-free design, Cherry MX floating keycaps, magnetic removable wrist rest, USB Type-C and an on-the-fly system with no software making it easier for you to game smarter and not harder. To learn more, check out the links in the description below. So if you guys remember in my Loki Ghost S1 video, I talked about my 1080 was actually running a bit warm and it's something that started ever since I water cooled it and then put it back to air. It has run hotter than it ever did in the past. Uh, it even runs hotter than my other 1080s, which were Founders cards. This one right here, if I set the fan static to 55%, raise the power limit to the max and raise the temp limit to the max, it will actually hit 88C, where my other 1080 would stay in the 70s. So something is being really weird about this. I've just checked thermal paste. It's no problem with it. So what I'm gonna show here is I'm gonna try taking one of the coolers off of one of my Titan Ds because the Titan D and the 1080 Ti are rated to 250 watts where the 1080 is 180 or 190 watts. So the cooler on this is technically beefier. Now rather than just try and put the big Titan D cooler on top of the 1080, even if it fit, that would be a lie. It won't fit technically, I don't think, because this, or this has a DVI port. It might fit. I don't know, it doesn't matter. I don't wanna lie and put the Titan D cooler on top of the 1080. So we're gonna actually take the vapor chamber cooler out of this guy and put it on the 1080 and see if we get any improvement. So just to kind of recap, we hit 88C on the 1080, 55% fan speed locked so it doesn't go up or down. And we did that because we need to compare. So if the fan was automatically ramping, we wouldn't be able to compare because it'd be dynamically changing. So yeah, let's go ahead and just, let's take this out, put it in the 1080 and see if we get any improvement. Now, obviously I took the whole cooler off of this. This is from one of my water-cooled cards. Uh, so the cooler's pretty much brand new and never been used. But what I'm gonna show you is how to take the actual heat sink itself out. As you can see, the black one from the 1080. So we'll be going to a silver one too, which might look kind of neat. But I'm gonna show you how to take the cooler out. And you can do this to change your thermal paste or improve your thermal paste, liquid metal, whatever you wanna do. So you can do this with your founder's cards and not have to take the whole cooler off, which I've seen people do. So you're gonna take an Allen key. I don't remember what size it is. You're gonna remove this screw this screw, this one on the side, this one on the other side, and then there's two Phillips head screws on the uh, rear shield. So take those two off as well. Now this is probably going to, I don't know if this will void your warranty, but if it does, that's on you. And the warranties, we don't believe in warranties around here. Warranties are for sissies. Actually, you probably should, you should care about your warranty, especially with how expensive graphics cards are today. Okay, so once those four screws are out, you can lift up the cooler on this side, and then the whole cover just comes off. And the thing is, it doesn't matter if it's a 1070, a 1070 Ti, 1080, 1080 Ti, or Titan D, they're all pretty much the same in the way the cooler goes together. But you can see this is, is it the same size? I don't know, it looks like it might be. There might be absolutely no difference in this cooler ability. Looks the same to me. I know one's rated to 250 and one's rated to 180. Whatever, we're gonna, we're gonna do it anyway because then it'll look cooler. It'll look cooler with all the black parts. We're doing part swap. But first. Now you gotta start by cleaning off all the old thermal paste and I prefer to use the Dyson juice which is 99%. You want at least 70% Dyson juice, but we only use the best around here. So 99% Dyson juice. You're gonna put it on a paper towel or something that's Non-fibrous, you don't want to get little fibers everywhere. Now, paper towels will leave a little bit of fiber, but that's okay, see? Look how well the Dyson juice works. It just, just melts right through that paste. Now, if you have a little bit of bleed over or just kind of mushes over the side, it's okay. It's non-conductive. So, we are not gonna be causing ourselves any problems here on the dye. You can use Q-tips or something to make this nice and clean, but as long as it's off the actual surface, that's all I care about. I actually have a video where I talk about thermal paste and whether or not you can hurt it. So I want you guys to go and check that out. I'll put the link to it in the description below. Now we only use Dyson paste around here because it has the best thermal conductivity and it's not conductive of metal. So we are not gonna be causing ourselves any sort of problems in terms of it getting onto the traces. Make sure you use an ample amount. That's probably too much, but there's no such thing as too much Dyson paste. 
Now when it goes back together, the curved side like this goes towards the fan. That's the way you want this to go. So you're gonna slide it in, slide it in like so, and then just pop it right on down. Look at that. I think they should have gone with silver. Silver looks better. What do you think? All right, so flip it over, hold it by both hands like that and sort of squeeze it together. It's definitely making contact. So I can feel it sliding around on there. We are going to put these four screws back in first because this is what actually holds the cooler in place. I should have my tool ready first. And we're gonna start that screw, start opposite corner, just like you're putting wheels on a car. So now we can tighten this all the way down. Just go to the thread stop because it will only go so far. Don't force past the stop, otherwise you'll strip out your screw head and then you'll never get it off again. And there's that. I think the silver cooler looks really cool, my goodness. I don't think I'm done yet though. Let's put this on there. Oh, that looks so much better with silver. So there's the 1080 with the silver cooler and the Titan with the black cooler. Tell me this isn't the way they should have shipped it. I mean, this looks all murdered out and this just, I don't know, looks cool and contrasty with the silver showing through. So yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and put it all back together and see if there's any temperature difference. Prediction, I don't think anything's changed. I don't know why this card is starting to run hotter. I really have no idea. But it looks cooler. I mean, there's that, so. Now obviously, wait, hold on. Now I've had a lot of people complain that my test bench is not realistic because it's an open test bench. So we fixed that problem through the help of one of our sponsors. So yeah, there's that. This is now has a fan on the side, so it actually pulls in a little bit of cool air on the side. It pulls in probably a little bit from the gap right there, but this is more reminiscent of a case, I guess. So yeah, whatever. Let's fire it up. Let's let it run for like 20 minutes to equalize the pressures or the temperatures again. 55% fan speed, max power slider, max temp slider. And let's see if it came down from 88C at all. All right, so we've been running the Heaven Benchmark on loop now, all settings maxed, 8X MSAA, all the same settings as the 1080. And you can see we actually have a couple of degrees improvement. It's bouncing between 83 and 85. So three to four C improvement. Uh, it's kind of hard to say you know, whether or not the cooler really made any sort of a difference. I think it's pretty obvious that the Dyson paste is what we can actually attribute to the improvements. So definitely guys, make sure you run out and get your Dyson paste. Um, link is not in the description. You guys are gonna have to go find it yourself. But three or four C is fairly significant. I mean, just changing thermal paste wouldn't do that. And in fact, this is the same exact thermal paste that I used when I retested the 1080, thinking thermal paste was probably an issue after I put it back together from water cooling it. So at the end of the day, at least we have a, a, a better looking Titan D cooler and a better looking 1080 cooler. And I don't think the, this is actually affecting it in any way. Cause if I take this guy off and ah, oh, if I take this off, the temperatures don't actually improve. So yeah, that's a whole nother video concept for another day on we've, we've covered it a million times. We'll probably cover it a million more times about chassis cooling. Cause see, I took it off and look, nothing has changed on the temperature so far. What I want to check real quick though, is now I'm going to put the cooler back to auto. So you can see we already have an improvement here. We're at 61% fan speed and it already dropped four degrees from where we were just a minute ago. So anyway, guys, take this video for what it was. Just having some fun. I was curious as to if the cooler from the higher rated cards, because remember these are 250 watt versus the 190 watt of a 1080. I was curious if there was any improvement to be had. It looks like some, because now you can see 59% at 81C. And if we were to take this now and just give ourselves a little bit more of an aggressive fan curve, and you can see that we are now drowned down into the lower 70s at 72% fan speed, which is kind of interesting. My, my aggressive curve is basically set to the temperature and the fan speed will match. So yeah, it's not too loud or too intrusive. And then obviously if it was in a chassis, it wouldn't be too bad. But you know, the takeaway from this is really all we gained was a cooler looking 1080, no pun intended, and a cooler looking Titan D, all blacked out and stuff. So guys, that's all for today. Just a little experimental video to see what would happen. Take away what you will from this video. Uh, it was kind of fun to see what would happen, but we've got some exciting content coming up this week. You guys are not gonna wanna miss. We've got a giveaway coming. Hold on. Oh, I gotta take this, this is important. Hello? Listen, shark, I told you, you missed your chance, okay? We moved on. I know I'm beautiful. I asked if they look good. Hey, take the fucking compliments. I did. Yeah, then you just threw it on the ground and scratched my heart. No! <laughs> okay. Speed and...
<clears throat> You're not shaking it all over the place, are you? Oh God, here we go again. Oh God, day one. <laughs> and action. You're gonna pull out as I'm drinking? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh 